In this video recorded at Pizza Expo, I speak with Vito of Stella's Pizza Pie located in San Diego, California. Vito is passionate about eating pizza and making pizza. He discusses the pizza business and his mobile oven, which he purchased from the fire within. Let's get down to it with Vito. Albert Gonda here from pizzatherapy.com, legendsofpizza.com slash blog. I'm talking to Vito of Stella's Pizza Pie in San Diego. And Vito has a mobile pizza operation. How are you doing today, Vito? I'm doing good, thank you for asking, Albert. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your uh, pizza operation. Um, I'm a mobile catering um, wood fire pizza business. Um, my oven is on a trailer that I can tow around to any event anywhere in San Diego. Um, I go all the way up into Northern California sometimes. Um, but it's pretty much a restaurant on wheels and wherever I want to go, I go. And it's fun, family oriented business that, you know, really makes me enjoy life and enjoy what I do. That's cool. So it's a mobile pizza party on wheels. Exactly. And the party is wherever we go. Um, mainly what we do are parties, um, big events, private events. Um, it's a great, great thing for uh, the customer to have the oven there where their guests can see it. And it's a focal point. It's something for them to talk about. And the pizza that comes out of it speaks for itself. Um, and just having that atmosphere is what I really enjoy about doing this business. Um, it's not all the hard work of making the dough and doing all the prep and doing all the dishes and cleaning, that's part of it. But at the event, for those couple hours that we're there, it makes it well worth it. Um, just to see the smile on the people's faces, because um, I know pizza for me brought me a lot of joy when I was a kid and still does. Um, I love pizza, I will eat it every day. It is a problem. Um, because I cannot say no to a good piece of pie. And uh, it just makes people happy. And that's what life's about. It's happiness, you know? So. That's great. Uh, what kind of oven is it that you have? Um, I have a Forno Bravo oven on top of a Fire Within trailer. Um, I got it from Fire Within. They customize um, wood-fired ovens on trailers. Um, they built it to my needs for where I live. Um, I had it customized to the way I wanted it, to the way I, to the way it looks, to the size of the oven I actually got on it. Um, and pretty much it started there. Um, the oven that they use, I love. I've used other ovens in the past, but the way the Forno Bravo holds the temperature, holds the heat, um, the convection I get out of it is, is like no other. And with the trailer they put it on, um, you can go anywhere and pull up, take out my equipment that's all stored underneath the oven and start our event off and never look back. Let me ask you this, were you successful from the beginning? In other words, were the pizzas perfect when you first started? Uh, the pizza is perfect when I first started. Well, I first started when I, when I purchased my oven. I knew nothing about cooking in a wood-fired oven. Um, did a bunch of research online, had a couple different options I wanted to go down to because I wanted to open my own business. I saved up some money, I was able to do it. Um, I found Fire Within, they had this wood fire university. Um, I was like, this is perfect. I can sign up, I can go, it's gonna teach me everything I wanna know. But at this time, I've already done about six to eight months worth of research on wood fire cooking, different types of wood, um, how to get a business license, how to do all these marketing and how to do everything. And I showed up there in Colorado and that eight months of work I did, of long hours of staying up while I'm working my other job, they laid it out all in front of me in four days, which personally I was kind of upset that I did all the work and they already had it all done, but I gained so much out of knowing it and being there. Um, what I thought I knew, I didn't really know. Um, like for making dough, I made dough at home, but the way they explain it and the way they go through it, it was literally night and day. 
um, and the starting a wood-fired oven and just the whole process of starting an oven, where to place a fire. I didn't have any clue. Um, and I thought I had it down perfect when I went home. And I got home, my oven came a couple months later. My first event was the day after my oven showed up. Flawless, everything went perfect. Uh, two weeks after that, I had my next event. I did not light the oven correctly, we could say. Um, way too much wood, fire was going, the stone did not get hot, and the flame was just roaring over the top of the oven. So my first mm, 40 pies were completely charcoal on the top, gooey in the center, couldn't serve them to anyone. They were ripping, uh, there was sauce and cheese and pepperoni all over the floor of the oven. Um, so no, it didn't, it didn't go off too smooth at the beginning. Um, to say, yeah, no, it was, it was a learning process. Um, luckily I had some friends that have cooked out of wood-fired ovens and I got together with them. They came over and they're like, you don't know anything. Stop thinking you know everything. Just listen to what I have to say and you know, that's what I did. I put my ego in check and I realized that, you know, there's people that have been doing this a long time and I needed to learn as much as I can from people face to face um, and not out of a book. You know, not trying to read it or trying to figure it out on my own. Um, and that's the only reason why I was able to really grow to where I've grown today. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> I was just thinking about all the cheese and all the toppings and the fact that I had a certain amount of dough for a certain amount of people. And then I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough pizza to feed all the people and I kept burning them. Oh, it was nerve wracking. But it worked out. Um, the customer had no idea what happened. They had no idea what went on. So it worked out that it went off with no hiccups for them. But for me, it was a disaster. Right? I just that just kept coming back into my mind right now. Well, that's a great story, a uh, great pizza learning story. How can people uh, contact you through Stella's Pie? You have a website, Facebook? Uh, I have a website. It's stellaspizzapie.com. Um, we're on Facebook and Instagram uh, at Stella's Pizza Pie. Um, we're located out of San Diego, and if you have any further questions, you can always go on the website and send us an inquiry, and I'd be happy to respond to you. Okay, perfect, Tito. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me, and keep making pizza. My pleasure. Albert, have a great rest of your day, and thank you for having me. For more pizza tips and tales, visit Pizza Therapy at pizzatherapy.com. And while you're here, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the lower right corner. We'd love to hear your comments. Pizza on Earth, goodwill to all.